Up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's What is up guys and welcome back to another video and as you can tell by the title of this very video we are doing something different today. Today I am going to go through my 100 plus Funko Pop collection which again is something I've never done before but I'm sure it will take a little while to do. Now I've seen videos of people that have like thousands of pops that are worth thousands of dollars and I think that's totally insane. Now, I'm not on that level, but I still think over 100 pops is a lot. And I was like, you know what? Let's just do a video on my pop collection because I enjoy watching people talk about their pop collection. So I was like, you know what? I'll do one of those. Let me do that. So first off, make sure you like and subscribe because that is very important. And second off, I don't know if that's even a term, but second off, make sure you grab a snack and relax and enjoy this video as I go through my entire Funko Pop collection. So here we go. Okay, so now I have my Funko Pops organized in categories. I have one category for superhero pops, I have another category for Star Wars, and my third category is like other genres like uh, horror, um, I don't know, some other movie pops, just like an other category. And then I have another category that's all the special pops, like the chases, the convention exclusives, and all that. And then I have a little section for my tiny little collection of six inch Funko Pops. And as you can already see behind me, I have some of my favorite pops right here, like my 10 inch T-Rex from I believe Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Really like this one. I think, uh, I think I got this one at, I'm gonna say Comic-Con? I'm gonna say Comic-Con like, uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's a convention though. Now this one, I got this 10 inch Gladiator Hulk, which I love to death. This one I believe I got at a swamp meet or something like that. I think I got it for like 50 bucks or something like that. And then we have the Captain America Civil War Iron Man. Fun fact, um, if you've seen some early episodes of Snack and Chat, I had the Avengers Infinity War Iron Man back here, but it broke. The stand broke, so that sucks. So I have to put the Civil War one in there. It was actually one of the first ones I've ever got. And then this one, um, the Endgame Captain America with the hammer and shield. I'm surprised this this pop wasn't like a really rare one because this one is awesome. Just absolutely awesome. I got this one at the Funko store, believe it or not, in Hollywood, California. And then over here we got, I believe, the 2018 Amazon Prime or just Amazon exclusive Thor from Thor Ragnarok when he's all like lightning and all that it glows in the dark So that's pretty cool and uh, yeah the, I didn't think his eye was gonna be like kind of punctured though though I mean you could kind of see that like his eyes kind of punctured a little bit there I thought it was broken. I was like, oh no, but it turns out that's just the pop But I like that one too. I like all of these behind me so, like I said before, I have my Funko Pop collection organized in categories. So the first category we're going to go through today is superheroes. All right, now the first pop we're going to go through today in the superhero category is my Surf's Up Batman. That is right, folks, Surf's Up Batman. I've had this one for quite a bit, as you can kind of see the 1960s Batman in his swimming trunks with the surfboard. I don't have Surf's Up Joker quite yet. Um, why? I just don't know. I just haven't gotten him yet. But I plan on getting him and completing that kind of duo set there. So I do like this one. Now the next one is another Batman one. We kind of, kind of go through the Batmans first because Batman is just great. So. Now we have the 1980 or the 1989, excuse me, Michael Keaton Batman pop figure. I like this one. I think I got this one as a present. Um, I love this box. I, I like how they kind of changed up the boxes for the 80 years of Batman. That's pretty cool. But yeah, also like this one. Now the next one up, we have the Batman and Robin George Clooney Batman. That is right, folks. I mean, you cannot have all these Batman pops and not have this one. But I believe this one was also a present, but I actually really like this one. I like I like the thing with this cape there, that's that's pretty cool. And then again, the box, how it's kind of has the 80 years thing, so 
that's also pretty nice. All right, now the next one up here is Two Face Batman, and it's funny because I got this one for I think not like probably five dollars. I think it was on sale at GameStop, and I was just there walking around like I feel like I feel like I need to get a pop. It was like I was in one of those moods, so I got this one. It's cool. It's, I wouldn't say it's my favorite Batman pop that I have, but the, I like this one. It's 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 nice. It's nice. You see the box there? Yeah. It's it's nice. It's nice. I know there's a Joker one and there's a uh, Penguin one and all that and all that good stuff. Now the next one is the Batman v Superman um, common Batman pop. Um, this is actually one of the first bat or one of the first Funko pops ever that I've ever gotten. I believe. It might have been my third one. I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna say it probably was my third Funko Pop that I've ever gotten. And I, I know, I mean, whatever you think about Ben Affleck's Batman, but I think Ben Affleck's Batman it probably had the best costumes. I mean, his suits, mmm, just good. Just, just good. I mean, bat, what are you talking about Batman v Superman, Justice League, or whatever, but I think Ben Affleck probably had the best Batman costumes. Now the next and final Batman here, actually there's another Batman one, but we'll talk about that one later. And that is the Justice League Batman. I couldn't find this box because I showcase these out of their boxes, but I couldn't find the, the Justice League Batman box and I love this pop. This pop is awesome. I mean, I saw this on Amazon and I saw it with the gold and all that. I'm like, oh, this is sick. I need to get this. And I do, and it's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay, so next, we have the Suicide Squad Boxer Joker. Um, I actually like this one. Uh, I thought Jared Leto's Joker was, eh, I mean, he, it's not like he was in the movie a whole lot. I mean, maybe if a David Ayer cut of Suicide Squad does eventually come out, maybe we'll see more of him. But I like this one too. This one's pretty nice, pretty nice. I know there's different versions of him. Yeah, you can kind of see in the back there, there's one of him in the suit and one of them like shirtless and all that. But yeah, there's that one. And then another Suicide Squad one, which I actually really like this one. And that is De oh, Deadshot. That is Deadshot. And one of the reasons I like him so much, well, one, he looks so cool. But the other one is that on his gun, you can kind of see he has, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it says light the way on there. And I think I'm pretty sure it says that in the movie too. So there's that one. Really like it, really like it. And then our last but not least for the common DC Pops basically, and that is Wonder Woman from obviously Wonder Woman. I know new Wonder Woman Pops came out for uh, 1984. I don't know if I plan on getting any of them, but I do really enjoy this one with uh, Diana and her sword and her shield. Pretty nice, is here. Her last of truth right there, so yeah. So now we're going to get into the Marvel Funko Pops, and the first one is Logan, 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 Logan. And it's the only X-Men Pop I own, and you can kind of see the spring in his neck is kind of falling off, but it's alright. He's still standing, unlike in the movie, because he's dead in the movie. But um, yeah, definitely, I've had this one for quite some time. Now the next one is from the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse line, and that is Spider-Man Noir, obviously voiced by Nicolas Cage in the film, um, which I love very much. And the pop is pretty nice. All black, of course, except for the eyes, just like in the movie. So there you go. Now the next one, also from the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse line, and that is Miles Morales, because you just have to have Miles Morales, and he's obviously in his home, or kind of homemade suit. Oh, well it's not a homemade suit, it's actually a costume, if you've seen the movie. There you go, pretty nice. I don't have the, uh, where he's in his full suit, as you can kind of see there. Don't have that one, but if I see it, I'll probably get it. And the last one that I have from the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse line, and it's probably my favorite one, and I know there is a 10 inch one because I've seen it, and that is Green Goblin. I mean, the detail on this thing is just brilliant. Look at that, oh, with this purple tongue, just nasty and awesome all at the same time. There, look at that, oh, the little pumpkins on the side. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Probably, actually it is my favorite Funko Pop that I have from the Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse film. Now the next Marvel Funko Pop I have 
is an Avengers Infinity War one, and that is Thanos. At least if you're talking to Nebula, that's how she likes to say it. Um, so yeah, pretty nice one there. Uh, this is not the only Thanos pop I own. It is not. But I like the smirk he has there. The smirk he has over a grateful universe, at least according to Thanos. But not for long, if you've seen Avengers Endgame, so. Okay, now the next one we have here is the Avengers Infinity War Captain America, Steve Rogers, whatever you want to call him. But just look at that beard. Oh, mighty sexy, mighty sexy. Looking scruffy, all torn up and grizzled, just like, oh yeah. Oh my goodness, oh. Next up, we have Avengers Age of Ultron Vision. And uh, this is the Target exclusive. As you can see, it's kind of a little bit invisible there. What's going on with you, bro? What's going on, Vision? The only Vision Funko Pop I own, but I remember I was debating between either getting him or the Loot Crate exclusive Dr. Emmett Brown. I believe it was the 1955 Dr. Emmett Brown when he's holding the electrical thingamabobbers and I ended up going with Vision. And yeah, do I regret that decision today? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I do not know. Now the next one we have is the Avengers Endgame Hawkeye. And I like to root for my underdogs, okay? Like, I like to root for Falcon. I like to root for Hawkeye because, you know, they, they don't get much love like a Steve Rogers or an Iron Man or a Thor. I like, to, I like to root for the underdogs. And this pop is pretty cool. Look at that. With a little bit of gold there. Like the suit. Like the hairdo. Definitely rocking it. Definitely rocking it, Jeremy Renner. All right. Next one up is from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And it's the only Guardian I own and that is Baby Groot. That is Baby Groot. And this guy is just absolutely adorable. Look at him. Just look at him. I mean, you could just, mm, just ah, squeeze him and ah, so cute. So cute. Now we have the Avengers Infinity War Iron Spider. Looking, looking glossy there. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Liking it. Liking it. Now the next one is the Avengers Age of Ultron. Captain America and probably out of all the Captain America pops that I own this one's my least favorite one But it has a special place in my heart because it is the first Funko Pop I have ever 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 owned I remember I was at a Barnes and Noble and I was like I want to start collecting Funko Pops I'm hearing these Funko Pop things. I want to start collecting them So I ended up getting Captain America from Avengers Age of Ultron and I mean he looks, he looks nice. I mean, he looks like your typical Captain America, but I think compared to the other ones, I just prefer like the Endgame one and the Infinity, Infinity War one, but this one has a special place in my heart. Okay, so now we're starting to get into some of my final common superhero pops. And the next one is the Thor Ragnarok Korg, and it is the only pop that I own from the Thor Ragnarok line, but I mean, I saw Korg, I, I think I got this at GameStop, and I wasn't even supposed to get a Funko Pop, I think I got like a video game or something, but I saw Korg and I was like, ah, I have to get him, I mean, he looks so cool, he, he's very funny in Thor Ragnarok, what Taika does with him, and his voice is just fabulous, absolutely fabulous, so yeah, we got Korg, he's also pretty heavy too, so that that's pretty nice, that's pretty nice. And the next one up, we have the Avengers Endgame, Thanos. And look at this beast. Look at him. Look at that detail on that armor. Just fantastic with that mean look. I mean, this perfectly describes the difference between the Thanos in Infinity War and the Thanos in Endgame. I mean, this Thanos is like gladiator serious. I'm here to wreck shop. While the other Thanos in Infinity, Infinity War was definitely more Shakespearean, I guess you can say, you know, dropping all those lines and not definitely not as war heavy as Thanos in Endgame. Now the next one up we have is Winter Soldier uh, from the Captain America Civil War line and pl played by Sebastian Stan, of course, you see him holding the machine gun with the long hairdo, which I'm sure a lot of us have right now. So there you go. Now, like I've told you guys before, I like to root for my underdogs and it doesn't get better than my man, 
Falcon. That's right, folks. Falcon. Hot Topic exclusive um, from Captain America Civil War. And this one's pretty nice. I mean, whether you like the character or not, this pop is pretty nice with his goggles and all that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. My man Sam Wilson. And the next one up, and actually last but not least, is Black Panther from Captain America Civil War. And yes, this is the only Black Panther Funko Pop I own. I have no pops from the Black Panther line, so there is that. But there you go, the Black Panther. Bam! Looking made and serious and awesome. Oh yeah, cool, cool stuff. There's also a like I think a glittery version of him from the Civil War line and um, I, it just, just looks the same. I don't know what the difference is between them. Um, if you, you guys probably know what I'm talking about if you've seen the that version. And last but not least, we have Spider-Man from Spider-Man: Homecoming, the Walmart exclusive, where he's in his homemade suit, unmasked. And I do have the box, but it's pretty torn up, so I don't think there's a point of me showing it but I like this one you know Peter Parker Tom Holland cool 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 so that is it for at least the common superhero Funko Pops well some of them are in exclusives but there's definitely a couple um, that you'll see down the line that are definitely some of the rare ones like the conventions maybe some chases so we'll get to those a little bit later but next we're going to go through the Star Wars Funko Pop category Okay, so the first one up in the Star Wars category is an OG, and that is Luke Skywalker when he's on Tatooine. Again, one of the older pops. I think it's actually the one of the first Star Wars pops ever made. You kind of see the, the, the line there. Bam. Another older one that I have is the beloved Princess Leia, again, also from A New Hope. And... They come with the stand, but I think I took off the stands because I was like, they don't need a stand. So, there you go. Next one up, we have Darth Vader from Star Wars Rogue One. A Star Wars story. Bam. Looking mean like a machine because he's more machine now than man. In the words of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Which, I don't have a pop of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Shame on me, right? Anyways, there you go. Bam! Darth Vader. Looking snazzy. Next up, we have another Vader pop, but this time he is unmasked. That is right. This is another older pop. As you can see, there's actually an older Emperor Palpatine there. And they've actually made a new Palpatine um, since then. So, maybe I have it in my collection. Maybe not. You'll just have to see. But this one looks awesome. Just look at that. It looks so cool. I mean, for an older Funko Pop, this definitely looks like one of the best. And it's one of my favorites. Even though he has a lightsaber in his hand, and we all know that he he's never unmasked and has a lightsaber in his hand ever in any Star Wars movie. But it's okay because it's awesome. That's right, folks. That is right. Next one up. I literally just talked about him. And that is... Emperor Palpatine, that's right. The new Emperor Palpatine that just came out with his lightning thing. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. I really want the um, the Darth Vader one for where he's like getting electrocuted. Really want that one. I've seen it, but I didn't buy it. And yeah. Okay, so next up in the Star Wars category, we have the lovable. Just the lovable Chewbacca from Star Wars The Last Jedi. I mean, he got a porg in his hand. I mean, I love this pop. It's just Chewy with a porg in his hand. It doesn't get better than that. It's just amazing. By the way, that, that, that joke in there where in, in Last Jedi when he's cooking the porg and all the porgs are watching, that's pretty funny. Now we have... Oh, well, now we're starting to get into the Rogue One pops with Cassian Andor played by Diego Luna, fellow Mexican. There he is. Yeah. A lot of my Rogue One Pops were gifts, though. Not going to lie. A lot of them were gifts. Uh, if not all of them, then all of them. So, next up we have the Hot Topic exclusive Jin Erso, played by played by Felicity Jones. I like the character of, of Jin. I thought she was cool. 
thought she was cool. Well, I actually liked a lot of the Rogue One characters. And I liked the movie too. So, another character that I liked was K2SO. I mean, say what you want about the, the new Star Wars films, but I think they've done a really good job with the droids, in my opinion. And especially with K2SO. And as more as we get into this, I've realized that I should probably uh, start dusting some of these because they're pretty dusty. And if you guys saw that, well, uh, or noticed that, then, um, oh well. But we have the Imperial Death Trooper from Rogue One. I loved the voices, their voices in Rogue One, that, because they, they obviously had a different voice than the Stormtroopers. And I thought, it was, I don't know, I just like their voice in Rogue One. That, that was cool. I like I liked these Imperial Death Troopers. All right, so the next one up we have is the First Order Stormtrooper from Star Wars, The Force Awakens. And you kind of see his, his little blaster there, little backpack. Nothing too fancy about him, you know? Just, yeah, just the First Order Stormtrooper. Nothing too, too fancy. Next one up we have is another First Order Stormtrooper, but... Amazon exclusive and he has the the I think the fire gun thing that you see um, They see him have in the beginning of Force Awakens when he's burning down I believe a hut or whatever, but also looking pretty cool And yeah. Amazon exclusive. It doesn't get better than that Next one is the Dagobah 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 whatever Dagobah <laughs> Yoda and he just looks so cute Look how cute he looks. Just absolutely adorable. By the way, I just saw the that the that Funko released uh, a Yoda pop with with the hut on Dagobah, and I saw that and I was like, one day I will have that. One day I will have that. So there is Dagobah Yoda. Next one here is uh, oh yeah, the Lando Calrissian from Star Wars Episode Nine. The Rise of Skywalker, and I probably the only Rise of Skywalker pop I own, but I mean, look at this guy. This, this is looking snazzy with the cane and the blaster. Looking cool. Billy D. Williams. Oh, oh yeah. Cool pop. Very cool pop. Um, this one, I think I got on a deal at Hot Topic, and I believe I got an, a couple other pops with that as well, but I'm sure I'll talk about those a little bit later. And now the next one up is the, I believe, Hot Topic exclusive Ahsoka. Now this one I actually got at Comic-Con a, a couple years back, and it's pretty cool. I do have the box for this one and a lot of the upcoming Star Wars pops I'm about to talk about. I do have the boxes for it, and I know exactly where they are, but I'm too lazy to get them because they're a little bit harder to get than these other boxes that you guys have seen um, for some of these Star Wars pops that I've already shown. But however, this guy has his own box and that is Supreme Leader Snoke. And I remember getting him the day the last Jedi pop the day that the last Jedi pops released, thinking that this guy is probably going to be so cool in episode 8. And um yeah, I mean, he definitely wasn't as, you know, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, Snoke was alright. He was alright. Um, next up we have is Old Man Luke. Again, I know exactly where his box is, but I'm just <laughs> too lazy to get his box. And that is Old Man Luke from The Last Jedi. I kind of, this one's cool. I kind of see it. I like the different, his hair has different colors. There's a backpack. I like this one. I like it. I like it a lot. And then we have also Boxless Kylo Ren from Last Jedi. I, I like the I like his little suit there. It's kind of a little bit glossy there. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And last but not least is Rey from The Last Jedi, and she is also boxless. So bam, there a you a go. So now we're going to head into the other category, and that should be a pretty exciting one if you if you know what I mean. All right. So the first pop in the other category is the flocked Barnes and Noble exclusive Timon and I mean this was also another one of those buys where I just felt like buying a pop so I got this one I mean he's pretty cute though I mean look at that the only uh, it's so adorable the only flocked pop I own I'd love to get the flocked Sully pop from Monsters Inc I think that one would be pretty nice 
as well. And also remaining in the Lion King. Well, that was the live action Lion King, but this one is the cartoon version of the Lion King. And that is Rafiki with Simone, the Hot Topic exclusive diamond selection or diamond collection pop uh, of again Rafiki with uh, Simba in his hands. And I really like this one. I really, really, really do like this pop. Nice and glittery. Now the next one up is Steamboat Willie. And I, I was looking for this one all over the place, even though it's a common and I couldn't find it. I had to wait until I got to the um, Funko Hollywood, to the Funko Hollywood store, and I finally got it. And he looks so cool. So cool. Just, just so cool. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Um, you also got the Apprentice Mickey and the Conductor Mickey and the Firefighter Mickey and the Brave Little Tailor Mickey. So there you go. And um, kind of sort of remaining in the Disney world, we got Vito Corleone played by Marlon Brando. I, I love this pop with this cat. Oh my goodness. Really, really love this pop. Enjoying it. Enjoying it very much. And there's the box. I see you got Michael, Sonny, and Fredo. Fredo. Oh yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Good. Oh, there you go. Good stuff. Next one up, also very similar to the Godfather. We got Buddy the Elf. What's your favorite color? And <laughs> you see he's holding his syrup. And I think there's a different um, Buddy the Elf. So I believe the Chase one. He's holding the Jack in the Box. There's another one where I think he's probably... Well, this one he's holding maple syrup. And I, there's another one where he's holding something else. And I can't put my finger on it. But with that said, let's move on to the next one. Now, the next one up we have here is... Norman Bates from, you guessed it, Alfred Hitchcock's 1960 film, Psycho. Or how I, I like to say it, Psycho. So you see here, Norman Bates, looking mean, scary. Really like this pop. See the, the white hairs and all that? Oh, Mike and it. You even see a little bit of his hair right there. Bam, I like this one. I like it, I like it a lot. Next one here we have, I got chills, they're multiplying. We got Danny Zuko, I forgot his name for a second there. Danny Zuko, played by John Travolta. I love what they did with this hair, looking all greasy. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, yes. Just great. Just great. Yes. Fantastic. I don't have Sandy, though. I don't have Sandy, which is a major issue because you can't have Danny without Sandy. So, next one up, we got... Dun 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 Dr. Emmett Brown. That's right, folks. Dr. Emmett Brown. I kind of like his hair, too. I like his hair. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I believe it's also another older Funko Pop there. Bam, bam. I don't have that Marty McFly, but I might. I might have a Marty McFly. I might. Just saying. All right, so next one up we have is E.T. from, you guessed it, E.T. the Extraterrestrial. And I really like this one. I don't think you could find them very easily anymore. So lucky me. And you also see that they also have Elliot and Gertie right there. Maybe I have one of those pops. So will just have to wait and see. So let's look at the next one here is Steve Hiller from Independence Day. And as you can see, I got this for a pretty good deal. Five bucks, I believe from GameStop. Played by, you know, Will Smith, the Fresh Prince. And if you're wondering what that little thing is in his hand, um, it's supposed to be a cigar, I believe. And um, to me, uh, it looks more like a turd, if you ask me, or like a finger. But I don't know. So yeah, there he is. And you can't have Will Smith without the alien from Independence Day. And he looks pretty cool. Uh, I like him. I like the look. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I haven't seen Independence Day in a, quite a bit, though. And then, even though I owned the movie... And then you got Jeff Goldblum there, the only one I don't have. So yeah, sorry Jeff, if you're watching this. Now the next one up, we got Pennywise um, with um, with wrought iron. So bam, I love this pop. And this was given me as a this was given to me as a gift. And maybe the person who gave this to me is watching this video. So <laughs> thank you if you're watching this. 
because it's really, really, really cool. And I have none of the loser, the losers club pops, so that's a shame. But maybe I have a Georgie pop. I don't know. Sticking with the Pennywise thing, we also got Pennywise with teeth, and I believe I got this online because I don't have an FYE near me, but this one's also awesome. Just awesome. I mean, whenever Pennywise has his teeth out in the movie, just absolutely scary. Absolutely scary. Love, love that. That art in the back. So creepy. Um, Alright, sticking with the Stephen King adaptations, we also have Stanley Kubrick's The Shining with Jack Torrance. Little pigs, little pigs. You see he's got the axe and the blood. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And to this day, I still, pro I'm just probably still think that Jack Nicholson gives the best performance in any horror movie ever as Jack Torrance. And I still need Wendy and Danny, still need them. And I love the red rum thing on there, pretty cool. They should make some Doctor Sleep Pops because that movie was also awesome, so. Let's see, the next one we got is the Hot Topic exclusive Harry Potter, and his glasses kind of, kind of chipped a little bit, but this was given to me by my very brother a couple years ago, if you're watching this, which I kind of doubt it, but hi, how are you, how you doing? There you go, bam, 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 bam. And you can't have Harry Potter without Lord Voldemort, uh, yes sir, and his, I just love this pose, I mean, he just has no clue what's going on, he looks like, where's my nose, where'd it go, <laughs> yeah, but I love his stance, alright, there, there's Lord Voldemort, and now, scary time, as we got Michael Myers, the OG Michael Myers, obviously from, um, Halloween, you know, so, there you go. Bam! Bam, bam, bam. Now, staying in the same realm, we got Patrick Star from Spongebob, the, the Christmas Patrick Star. I mean, who doesn't like Patrick Star? I mean, is, is mayonnaise an instrument? Is, is it? I don't know. I don't know. Ask Patrick. So, yeah. I, I like the candy cane thing there. That's cool. But, yeah. Patrick Star. I mean, gotta have Spongebob, though. Oh, Spongebob there so maybe one day I'll get Spongebob but next up we got Ham from the Sandlot I mean who doesn't like Ham I mean just oh oh my goodness the great Bambino I also got to get um, smalls and squints well actually I may have a squints pop hmm 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 a lot of teases a lot of teases I also need to get the beast though. I also need to get the beast. And I remember I was looking to get them on Amazon Prime, the Target exclusive, but I didn't get them. Cause I forgot to buy them and um, yeah, so that sucks. But the next pop we got here is Elliot from E.T. the Extra Terrestrial once again. And it still has the price tag on there, I believe 12 bucks because uh, it's kind of hard to take off and it ruins the box and yeah, whatever. But you can't have um, E.T. without Elliot. So, bam, got the Reese's Pieces there. Not M&M's, that's right, M&M's. Screwed up, you screwed up. <sighs> My goodness. All right, the next one is Frank Woods from Call of Duty. My only gaming pop that I have. Yeah, but I really like his character from the Black Ops series. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, pretty cool looking pop. And so is the box with the dirt. Also has the price tag on there because once again, it's hard to take off, ruins the box and all that. But I'd love to get Ghost. I'd love to get Ghost and, and maybe Brutus as well. Those are cool looking ones there. Next up, we got Maurice from War for the Planet of the Apes. And I love Maurice from the Apes trilogy or the new Apes trilogy. And he was just one of those characters that I just felt he was going to die. I just felt he was going to die. I felt there was a moment in one of the three movies, or especially in War, where I'm like, oh, man, I really don't want him to die, but I feel like Maurice is going to die. And he didn't, because he's a survivor. He's a survivor. That's right, Maurice. He knows how to survive. He is a survivor. But someone who is not a survivor, and that is Caesar. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love you, Caesar. Oh yeah, look at, look at that. Shotgun. Ready for action. Bam, bam. 
apes together strong oh my oh my good pop good pop good pop all right the next one here ah uh, here we are is hopper and his biohazard suit hot topic exclusive my only stranger things pop that i own but this one's awesome i, I, I like i like the the material that this is made out of i believe it's plastic <laughs> i believe it's plastic but um yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool looking pop. Bam. All right. So the next pop we have here is Daryl from The Walking Dead. And um, it says Daryl Dixon uh, I, until I saw this box. I didn't even know his last name was Dixon. But Daryl from The Walking Dead. And you can also see the tag sticker thing on there. And then there's Daryl right there. Um, I... I've watched a lot of The Walking Dead, like I've, I've watched from season 1 to about the midpoint of season 5 and then I started again midpoint through season 6 and then I fell off in um, I believe probably at the beginning of season 8 and then I tried to go back but I was like, eh, I'll start watching Breaking Bad, which I did and uh, oh my goodness, they haven't made Breaking Bad Funko Pops, what are you doing? Alright, next up. We got Alfred Hitchcock. This pop is awesome. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I wanted this pop for a long time, and then finally I pulled the trigger, and I got it. I like the back as well. I've never seen the Alfred Hitchcock hour. I've seen the intro to the show, but I've never, I've never watched the show. So I'd like to watch it. Um, but it's always on late, and uh, I always fall asleep during it. So next up we got Stan Lee. Obviously the legend, may he rest in peace. Got Stan Lee, pretty nice. Pretty nice. And then there's the back of the box there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The Hero Initiative. Now the next one we have here is El Chavo from El Chavo del Ocho. A show I used to watch a little bit as a kid. Um, very cool pop. Like it, like it a lot. Very nice, very nice, very nice. We also have El Chapulín Colorado. They were given to me as a gift by my mother, actually. So, shout out to mom. Bam, very nice. Very nice. Now the next one we have here is Mr. Rogers from A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Uh, I don't know where his box is though. I'm sure it's somewhere around here, but I, I don't know where his box is, but here's Mr. Rogers. Now, I don't think, I think, I'm pretty sure this is Tom Hanks' Mr. Rogers, which I have no problem with. You see, he's a cute puppet. I love the movie. The movie's awesome. The documentary is also really good. So I definitely recommend and check that out. Alright. Our next pop here is the Crow Minion from Minions, the movie. I've never seen Minions, the, the movie. I've seen like the Despicable Me films, but I've never seen Minions. This was given to me as a present though by my cousin, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now the next one here we have is Negan. From The Walking Dead, obviously played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Very cool pop. Very cool. I thought about getting like a, a Lucille bat, like one of those fake ones that you see. But, or that you've probably seen in some collectible stores, but yet to get that. Yet to get that. Next up we have is, let's see here. The Hot Topic exclusive Marty McFly from Back to the Future Part A3. And, oh, he's, he has trouble standing on his own because the, the hat and his head is just too heavy for him to stand on his own. But this pop is awesome. Just absolutely awesome. He's holding his boots there. Yeah. Well, I really like Back to the Future Part 3, by the way. I actually like it more than Back to the Future Part 2. I probably like it a little bit more than Back to the Future Part 2. I also enjoy the second one, though. Love the trilogy as a whole. But there you go. Marty McFly. Hot Topic exclusive. Next up we got is the Tim Curry 1990s miniseries mini Pennywise and um, I do know where the box is for this one and it's actually a funny story behind the, the purchase of this one. I got it at, at believe the 2017 Comic Con, the, the San Diego Comic Con, for $20. Or it was like $20 to $25 and then I look and I see that it's worth $10 and then that's when I learned that I should probably check the price of a pop or probably any item before you purchase it and see if you're you no know, overpaying or whatever so 
there you go. I, this pop taught me a good lesson. Good lesson. So yeah, but cool pop. Love Tim Curry as Pennywise. Um, uh, this, the mini series doesn't really hold up as well, but Tim Curry is fabulous. Just fabulous as Pennywise. All right, so that is it for the other category. Now we're going to go into the special category where all the chases and the convention exclusives are. So let's get into those, shall we? All right, now the first one I'm going to go through in the special category is the Star Wars Rancor with Luke Skywalker and Slave Ola. I think, I think that's how you say her name. Now I'm not gonna take these out of the box because it take forever to put back in, so I'm not gonna take the big ones or the triple pack or the double pack out of the box because it's gonna take me a little while to put back in. It's just gonna be like, ugh. Because I keep all the special ones in the box. So there's this one. I've had this one for a while, actually. I believe I got this one at a swamp meet. It's a PX exclusive and the sticker's kind of falling off there, but the Rancor, oh yeah, that's why you get this bad boy. Awesome, 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 awesome. Next up, we have the 2019 Summer Convention Limited Edition exclusive of Shark Biting Quint from Jaws. This one is just amazing. The detail on this is fantastic. And then plus, I love Jaws. So this one is awesome. Next one up, we have the, again, 2019 Summer Convention Limited Edition exclusive Carl and Ellie when they were... Just younglings, you know, right when the, the right at the beginning of the opening, that's gonna make all of us cry, you know. Yeah, awesome, <laughs> cool stuff, cool cool stuff. Now we have the Sandlot double pack of Wendy Preferkorn and Squints. I mean, just just a classic scene, just a classic scene, and I love this double pack Target exclusive, and yeah. Very happy I got this. I actually think I got this at Comic Con for like 25 bucks, I think. So, pretty good price. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Now, our next one here, now we're starting to get into the single pops, and that is the 2019 Comic Con uh, exclusive Batman, where he's holding the Comic Con bag. I mean, I love Batman. He's holding a Comic Con bag. Does it get better than that? And I believe it's like a Comic Con mascot or something. Um, very. Very nice. And if, by the way, if you guys are wondering how long I've been collecting Funko Pops, I've been collecting Funko Pops for four years. For four years since 2016. So, for four years. And I think actually last month may have marked four years or maybe the month before. I don't know. I don't know how I remember all these things. But next up, we got the Funko Shop Limited Edition Colonel Sanders that comes with the, with the bucket and the t-shirt that, that you guys have probably seen me wear, the KFC t-shirt. But here's the golden, the golden pop. All right, sticking with food and stuff, we got the chase, Twinkie the Kid, where his scarf is different. It's like the red with polka dots. I mean, who doesn't like Twinkies? If you don't like Twinkies, just like, what's the matter with you? Woody Harrelson would be ashamed of you. So there it is, chase, bam. Also got found that at the, the Funko store. It was just chilling there. I'm like, oh, right there, just, just for the taking. Next up, we got the Nacho Libre Chase. Oh, oh yeah. You're leaving us, Nacho? No, I never leave you. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. And he has the mask, because obviously the unchased version, he's not wearing the mask, but this one, he is wearing the mask. Also given to me as a gift by my mother, so shout out. Big shout out, because I really wanted this one. Really wanted this one. Next up, I got this at Comic-Con a few years back, and that is the Punisher Daredevil Chase, and I love this pop. I actually came with like a, a protector case thing, because he's holding the Daredevil mask. Oh, from season two, the gun, the shirt, a little bit of black eye right there. Oh my goodness, I mean, oh. Especially because I love the second season of Daredevil. So good, so good. And John Bernthal just oh, perfectly cast it as Punisher. And our next pop here is the Joker from the Dark Knight, or at least the bank robber Joker. Now, fun story about this one. So this pop is worth, I believe, over 100 bucks, And um, I got it for $3 because the inside of the box, as you can see, there's none that thing that holds the pop in the box. 
is it didn't come with that so they put it for three dollars so i figured well i guess i could find something that could hold it and um i'm yet to do that but i got it for three dollars and i mean three dollar pop that's worth over a hundred dollars um yes please so i mean awesome and i mean the box is in good shape too i mean look at that look at that awesome 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 so yeah there's that one there is that one Next up, we have the Wonder Woman with the Hollywood Funko bag. I mean, I had to get this one if I was going to go to the Funko store in Hollywood. So, I mean, this is like a must-have. So, bam, bam, and then there's the box. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Next, we have the 2018 Summer Convention Dustin from the snowball dance stranger things and i know i said before that the, the hopper pop was my only um stranger things pop well eh, i lied <laughs> this one this is my other one now i actually didn't mean to get this pop but gamestop was having a deal the day that i went to go pick up my 2018 convention pops where i was like three for something so i was like oh well i guess i'll get it why not next we have the 2018 comic con exclusive edna Jack Jack from Incredibles 2. By the way, I rewatched that movie a, a little while ago, and um, I like that movie a lot more the second time around. And here is Edna Jack Jack. Very nice, very nice, adorable, small and adorable, like Jack Jack is. The he'll tear your heart out, literally. So don't mess with him. Next up, we have the collector from. Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, the Disney Parks exclusive. And I don't even think this pop is worth very much now. I want to guess like $25. I mean, I don't know. It's been a while since I checked. But this pop is actually really cool. Um, the detail on this is very, very nice. Very nice. And I've been on Mission Breakout, obviously. Um, I actually got this pop right after I got out of the ride. <sighs> I mean, I'm just not a fan of drops. I mean... Uh, if I was a fan of drops, I'm sure I'd love the ride and I mean the the line first of all to get into mission breakout is just well oh, just jaw-dropping, but yeah, that ride oh, I, I definitely sharded, sharded myself on that ride Next up we have the 2017 comic-con exclusive Tony Stark where he's holding his helmet One of my first convention exclusives. You see he's holding his helmet Very nice, very nice. Bam! It's from Spider-Man Homecoming. There you go. Next, we have the Iron Man Mark 1, the MCU 10th Anniversary 2018 Comic-Con um, exclusive pop. And I love this pop. Love it. The detail is just off the charts. Off the charts. Look at that. This is so good. So good. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Next, we have Man Bat from the Batman Animated Series, the 2017 Comic-Con exclusive. Again, one of my first convention exclusives. So there you go, Man Bat. Bam. Bam. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. And then uh, there's, the, there's the back, just in case you wanted, wanted to see that. My only Batman Animated Series pop. Now the next one here is 2018 Summer Convention or Comic-Con exclusive Wreck-It Ralph, the pixelated Wreck-It Ralph. This pop is really, really cool. Um, very heavy also, and I, this pop is just awesome. I really enjoy this one. And also enjoy the movie. Actually, I enjoy both of them. So, bam, there a you a go. Sticking with the 2018 Summer exclusive, Summer Convention, Comic-Con exclusives, whatever. We got the Red Hood, um, one of my favorite um, superhero animated films, I've only seen like a, a select few, I haven't seen very many, but that is Batman Under the Red Hood. That movie is just whew, awesome, or well, at least I remember it being awesome, I haven't seen it in a long time, long time, but I remember it being pretty awesome. Next we have the, again, 2018 Comic Con exclusive. Cad Bane, and it's funny because I don't know a lot about his character, but he just looks so cool that I needed to have him. I just needed to have him. So, bam, there you go. Next up, we have the Chase Georgie from It Chapter One. And I don't really feel like taking this one out because I don't know. This I just don't. 
but this one is awesome you see his hand is or yeah his arm is cut off there from the bite from Pennywise as you see this one's also in a protective thingamabobber I also got this one I believe at the 2018 or 2017 Comic Con so very very cool and that's it for the special category but oh I totally forgot about this one yes Spider-Man yeah no oh, oh. if you guys are wondering why I'm I'm talking about this one I forgot to mention it in the superhero one because I was just chilling then I totally forgot about it my brother also gave me this one so love you bro mmm so yeah cool all right now that we got all the special ones out of the way it's time to go to the last and final category and this one should go pretty quick because I only have like like five of them and that is the six inch and I also have a pop ride so I'll also show off that one so let's get right into those all right, so the first one I'm going to go through is going to be the Pop Ride, and that is the Kylo Ren, or Supreme Kylo, or Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, I should say, in his um, little jet thingamabobber. It's actually real cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Bam, bam. I guess I wouldn't say that the Lando Calrissian pop isn't the only Rise of Skywalker pop I own. I guess this one counts as well. Now, let's get into the six inch, the six inch pops I have. Now the first one here is the six inch Polk from Avengers Endgame. This was also given to me as a gift from my uncle, so shout out to him if he's watching. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll send me, he'll send me a text message and be like, thanks for the shout out, wow, he's so nice. <laughs> I'm just playing. All right, there we go. Pretty cool, pretty cool, has the gauntlet. Very nice, very nice. The next one we have here is actually my favorite one, and that is King Kong from Kong Skull Island. I love this pop. How he's just holding the helicopter. So cool, so cool. By the way, Kong Skull Island, very fun movie. Very fun monster movie. Next one here, my penultimate pop. Can't believe I've already made it this far is the 2017 Comic-Con exclusive 6-inch Megazord. Probably my second favorite 6-inch pop I own. Really cool. I think I got it for $50. I think it's actually worth less than that now, but I think it's an awesome pop. I watched Power Rangers here and here and there. One of the reboots, that the, one of the many reboots that they've had. All right, and last but not least here we have Giant Man from Captain America Civil War, uh, my first six inch that I've ever owned, actually. I don't know if this came out before the film came out and this just spoiled the giant man thing. Don't really remember. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. But I like this pop. Yeah, it's cool. So with that said, thank you for watching this video if you made it this far. Hopefully you did. And hopefully you guys had a tons of fun watching it and leave a comment down below what was your favorite pop that you saw in this video and what's your favorite pop that you own or do you plan on starting your Funko Pop collection and don't forget to like and subscribe because that is very important and with that said look out for the next video or review and peace